Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and in this video we are going to create a menu with some menu item in toolbar or we can say in action bar. So before starting this video, first I want to show what we are going to make. So you can see I already created an application. I open it. So on the right top corner, you can see three dots. It contain a menu. So if I click on this, you can see it contain three item and file item contain again two item. So let us suppose if I click on coding, so you can see it display a toast of coding. So you can open new activity. It is your choice. Whatever you want, you can do this with option. So I again click on this menu item. Now I click on file and you can see now it contain again two items. So this is known as some menu and the status calls are highlighted and the file color is little bit dim. So you can see this is some menu. So now if I click on calls, you can see it again display a message of calls. So you can open new activity it is your choice whatever you want to do so don't further delay now let's start the video and see how to create this menu with some menu items so for this simply open your android studio i already my app open my android studio and i already created an object with name of menu with some menu and by picking an empty activity so after this first we have to create a menu directory for creating a menu resource file so open your expand your resource folder then click on resource now right click then click on new then select android resource directory now give the directory name menu that's it now press enter that's it now you can see the menu resource directory created successfully now again click on menu and then right click then click on new then click on menu resource file after this you can give any file name it is your choice i give menu now click on OK and you can see this menu resource file created successfully. In this video I am going to also show you if you want to create a normal menu then you can also create it and if you want to create a menu with some menu item then you can also create it. So I am going to show everything in this video. So first of all I am going to create a menu simple menu and then after this I will go tell you how to create some menu. So for this simply create a normal menu simply take an open bracket type item then simply assign an ID. So my first item of my menu is coding. So I simply type here coding, give same as ID name and now simply set the title which you want to display on your menu. So I simply type here coding again. So you can see the ID name is coding and the title is also coding. Now simply what you have to do, simply close this. After closing this, this item you can see on the right side created successfully. Now we need one more item of name programming. So simply take an open bracket again, simply type item. Now give any ID. So this is for programming. So I simply type here programming, then press enter. Now simply set the title. So I simply type here programming. Now simply close this. So here you can see the menu is created successfully. Now we need if you if you need only simple menu, then it is fine. Now if you need a sum menu, then what you have to do? Then you have to create a men item again. And then inside item, you have to create a menu. So I will show you how to do this. So simply take an open bracket type item. Then first simply assign an ID. So I simply give the ID name file and simply set the title which you want to display on your some menu item. So I simply type here file. Now first close this. After closing, take a menu inside this item. Be remember, take a menu inside this item. So I take an open bracket type menu here. Now close this menu. Now inside menu, you can take as many item. It is your choice. So this item is known as some menu item. Now I take an, take an open bracket type simply item. Now simply assign an ID. So this is ID for status. So I, this is my status item. So I simply type here ID status. Now I set the title. So I give the title status. Now close this item. Now if I need one more item, then I take an open bracket again, simply type here item. So now simply assign an ID. This is ID. This item is for call. So I simply type here ID call. Now set the title which you want. So I simply type calls. Now close this. Now that's done. Now our menu resource file created successfully and you can see. I hope you understand everything and I am explaining in that very easy manner. It's shown an error. So by mistake I am forget to add plus icon here. So that's done. Now it's time to write the main activity Java code. So come inside main activity. So we have to overwrite two methods for using menu inside our activity. So first method overriding method is known as on create panel menu. It helps to create our menu inside our activity or we can say main activity. 
so it apply the menu inside our main activity so simply alt press alt plus insert on your keyboard now select override methods and simply type on create panel menu and you can see it automatically show installation presenter now what you have to do simply delete this line and now you, what you have to type simply type here menu inflator give any id name and we can say any object name it is inflator equal get menu inflator then semicolon now simply type inflator dot inflate and simply type r dot menu dot and your menu resource file name my menu resource file name is menu now comma and your directory name our directory name is menu then return true now semicolon so now that's fine now after this what you have to do now we have to override one more method so i press enter so many time now simply what you have to type simply press alt plus insert on your keyboard and simply select override methods and the override method is on option item selected so select sim sim simply search for on option item and you can see it automatically shows the presence of presenter now simply delete this return line and here you have to write all of your code so what we have to do we have to simply set an toast message on every menu item so for this we have to use first switch condition so simply type switch now how we identify id we identify our item using id so simply type item dot get item id now take two curly braces now inside this we have to as you know what we have to use in switch case simply case so case case space take r dot id dot and your first id name so my first id name is coding so you can type in any manner of your ids it is your choice now what you have to do after clicking on coding what you want to do you can do anything here you can open new activity it is your choice i simply display in toast but you can open new activity or you can do anything which is with this now give any toast message now toast dot plain short dot show then semicolon now simply type return true and that's done now we have to simply copy this code and paste it five time because we have five item so control v control v control v control v and our second item is programming so simply type here programming and simply i change the toast message by here programming my third item is status and i simply change the toast message by status and the last item is calls call sorry so i simply change the toast message by calls so maybe you would think about i am not setting any on click listener or we can say any id case on our file item so don't worry about this it automatically create an sub menu so we don't need to set anything on our on our file item on we can say on our sub menu now we have to simply create a default case so for this simply type here default and now simply type return super dot on option item selected and inside this simply type items then semicolon now our application is ready and it's time to check our app so i connect my phone and i press on run button and you can see it will start billing and now the grader bill successful and here you can see this application work fine so hopefully guys you understand everything if you have any query simply comment down below i try to give the answer of every query and please like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update thank you see you soon in next video